Jacob moved in a sowing anointing that changed the whole aspect, not only of his life, but his children's life. He operated in that sowing anointing, third generation that was powerful. He had the angels ascending and descending. But Jacob took a hold of what was predestined for him with his seed. He honored God and brought forth the plan of God that was destined for him through his honor. There are a lot of things that God has for one's life, even in relationships, even in uh, money, uh, health and provisions. And he is able to channel that thing to you through sowing. He channels wisdom to you through sowing. He channels understanding to you through sowing. There is a strengthening mechanism of God, a mantle for the soul when you sowing into the Lord. That's why I'm telling you that you have to sow enough seed even for the transaction to happen for the mind of Christ to dominate you. That's why sometimes there's some mysteries in the kingdom and people be like, no, nah, no, nah, that's not what it means. They, they can't receive it because sowing is how you receive the raw anointing. And what is the raw anointing? You understand the blunt truth of God. And remember the secret of the Lord is with those that fear him, is with those that sow into him. Do you understand what I'm saying? The secret of the Lord is with those that sow into him. People that fear the Lord sow into the Lord. So his secret is with those that sow into him. So he gonna reveal to you his secret when you sow it into him. He don't reveal it into people that don't sow it into him. That's not sowing into him. So, so they'll be like, no, that's not of God. That's not of God. Of course it's not of God. Because of God is hid from you. <laughs> of God is only revealed to those that sow it into him. Of God is only revealed to those that sowing into him. So saints, if you take a note, write this down. The of God realm is exposed to the sower. If you take a note, write this down. Seed sowing educates you to comprehend what is really of God. It educates you. The seed is an education device. It's an educational system. God educates the seed sower. Sowing is a school. The seed is a university. And God got degrees of sowing. Bountiful sowing, sparingly sowing, he got degrees of sowing. And, and watch this here. When somebody leaves sowing in their life, they leave the degrees of God teaching them profound things. They don't, they don't walk in the degrees. Why would Solomon sow and he already was declared king? He's getting degrees. Because the Bible said that there was never a king like him again. There was no king like him on earth. So look, he stepped into degrees through sowing. Wow. Wow. So there was nobody in comparison to him because of his seed. The seed pitched you in a league of your own. Nobody is like you as a woman. See, I want you to hear this. A sewing woman, you put a sewing woman in the same bracket of a non-sewing woman. You see how the non-sewing woman anxious? She crazy in her mind. She don't got God thoughts. You put a sewing man in the same room of a non-sewing man. You watch how that non-sewing man don't think like the Lord. He don't have God's mind. He not a king. He not a king. Shh. Shh. 
feel power moving. <laughs> I feel power moving. I feel power moving right now. <laughs> so something just happened when I said it. I don't even remember what I just said. I, I'm in another zone now. See, there is a financial anointing that's tangible. You can feel it in your body, your members, your parts. Your bones can carry financial oil. That everywhere your body goes, there is a financial magnetic, uh, uh, how could I say it? There's an invisible magnetic pull. There's a force drawing financial victories and success and doubling you up everywhere you go. When you honor God with finances, strangers, people that don't even know you for long periods of time, they are also receiving an outpouring of the spirit on their life to pour money into you. They, they receive an outpouring of the Holy Ghost on them. The same way you let the Holy Ghost talk to you and talk through you and, and move through you and sow through you, the Holy Ghost going to sow through somebody else to you. That's what the whole thing was about, men giving into your bosom. God built a miraculous flow of events that you will experience increase. What did Psalm 115 verse 14 say? You, the Lord will increase you more and more. So Psalm 115 verse 14 is saying that the Lord going to increase you, but it matters when it says more and more. Which means the increase going to be there, but God going to take it to another degree and make it some more. And then he's going to take it to another degree and make it some more. And, and then when you think that I already got enough, I'm good. He's going to take it some more. And the more and more avenue is an evolution of provision. Do you know that wealth got depths? Wealth got heights. That's why Isaiah the prophet was saying that you shall ride on the high places of the earth and eat the heritage of Jacob. Wait, so why do Jacob got a heritage? I, I need to understand. Let me understand. Why does Jacob got a heritage? Why does Jacob got a heritage? I want to know. I want to know why. In Isaiah 58 verse 14, why does Jacob got a heritage. So Jacob got a heritage that is now established in the spirit world because he was sowing. When you're sowing, God give you your own specified heritage. It get passed down to whoever been called to come after you. So Jacob got his own signature of heritage because he's sowing. When you're sowing, God is building your legacy. Every seed sower got a financial legacy that's different from the other sower. Your financial legacies are not the same. My gosh. God might only raise up their legacy to 100,000. God may only raise up their legacy to 300,000. That God may raise up their legacy to 50,000. But God may raise up your legacy to 30 million. God may raise up their legacy to 15 million. God may raise up their legacy to, to, to 10,000. Everybody don't got the same legacy. But sowing is containing a financial legacy. When you're sowing, God brings you into it, the libraries of heaven. If you're taking notes, write that down. And God opens up books to the sower.
for them to understand every department of their life. There's a department in the library for a sower, for their soul. God has to cure everybody's soul. Everybody's soul is sick. Sadly, it don't matter how beautiful people look, how nice they look on the outside. You watch people all the time, you think that they look cute. See, I'm, I'm gonna tell you something. Even if you look at me and you think that I look good, you know what really look good about me? My soul. My soul look good. Because my soul is fine. This soul don't go nowhere that the Holy Ghost don't want it to go. If the Holy Ghost don't want to go, the soul ain't going to fight. Your soul, on the other hand, is a terrorist. You terrorize moments. You terrorize your time. You go places you ain't supposed to go. Go. Some of y'all's soul is ugly. And that's why sometimes um, the woman get tricked because she's trying to get with you because she thinks that you look all good. But your soul is ugly. And, and you get it with somebody's soul, not their private parts. You get it with their soul. So after, after you recognize people's soul, you're like, what? I'm telling you. I'm telling you, I'm telling you something profound. I hope you're hearing me by the spirit. You get with a woman thinking that she look all thick and nice. You don't understand her soul ain't thick and nice. <laughs> so what happened when you ain't got her in the headlock? She got you in the headlock. <laughs> she headlocking you with her attitude, her demonic, all them spirits. When a person got a lot of spirits, they also got a lot of personalities and a lot of appetites because they got to please all those spirits that's living inside of them. And them spirits be like, where my Twinkie at? The spirits like, where, where's my, where's my lust? Where, the spirit like, where's my, my anger? Where, where's my stress? Where's my anxiety? Where's my insecurity? And spirits be demanding people. That'd be crazy. And then I feel bad for those of you all that, that be sleeping with people and they, they are sinners. And it don't matter how much knowledge of God you got, you got a lot of demons from having encounters with people that got demons inside of them. Oh my God. You wonder why you don't really got a desire for God. You just, you just floating. You floating because you got demons. You need deliverance from demon spirits. That's why I've been sent to you. I don't have no demons inside of me. <laughs> demon, demon, demon scared to come to my house. <laughs> Say, demons, demons get, demons get a little, little halftime break if I go to sleep. I'm sent to the sick. That's why if I rebuke you, I'm not rejecting you. If I rebuke you, I'm not rejecting you. So you get offended, that's on you. I ain't rejecting you, I'm rebuking you. Because that's what love does. I ain't going to come into agreement with your demons. What I look like? So I come into agreement with your demons. So that you can stay with those demons. No, we got to break the demons. Wealth coming to the person that is liberated from their demons. Sometimes you think that people holding back your money and you don't know it's the demons that you got. No, I ain't got no demons. All right. You know how many people, if I come on and start making jokes, in their mind, they're talking about, oh, oh, this is exactly, I just needed to laugh. I just need, no, you got demons. You need to be free from your demons. Then you'll have laughter even when you don't see me. 
You'll have joy that remaineth. Woo. You'll have peace like a river. That's what the book of Isaiah said. Bless God. Look what it said in Isaiah. It said, if y'all would have hearkened diligently to my commandments, you would have had peace like a river. What did the Lord say when he looked at Jerusalem? He said, oh, I, I wish I could gather you in just like the bird gathering all its chickens. I wish I could gather you in. See, people be having demons. Sowing is the pathway of receiving surgery from God to be cured from demon spirits. When you start investing on your altar, you are challenging the altars where demons were empowered to hook you to bad things. Did you know that all of your addictions are connected to an altar that Satan was able to build with your permission? Because even if the altar is built generations before you, which they always are, you came in unity with that altar yourself. You said, okay, that altar is there, but I'm gonna I'm come and I'm gonna abide with the altar. I'm gonna continue with this altar. I'm gonna move with this altar for my decision-making. I'm gonna move with this altar with my thought life. I'm gonna move with this altar with my lusts, with my desires, with my appetite. So altars that Satan have set up generation to generation, the generation has to approve of the altar. So, so there was pill popping, you agreed to pill pop too. So the altar of pill popping is operating in your life through permission. Weed smoking, they was weed smoking. You weed smoking, you hookah smoking, whatever. Now you are agreeing with the altar of Satan. Let's go to Ecclesiastes chapter six, verse two. A man to whom God hath given wealth, riches, and honor, so that he wanted for nothing, for his soul wanted for nothing, and he has all that he desires. Yet God giveth him not the power to eat thereof, but a stranger eateth it. This is vanity, and it is an evil disease. I'm going to talk real strong on this, okay? Be prepared for it. I have a lot of broadcasts on me. I'll see you. I'll see you. I'll see you today. You'll be listening to a lot of profound teachings that I have. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. I receive my wealthy place. I receive my wealthy place. Lord, I receive the thousandfold blessing on my life. The thousandfold blessing. Deuteronomy chapter one, verse 11. Father, I thank you that you have chosen to bless me a thousand times more as you have promised my fathers, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, prophet Joshua Holmes. I receive. I take it. I take it. I claim the hundredfold return on my life of houses and lands and brothers and sisters with persecution. I receive it all. I'm not afraid. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. My life is just beginning afresh. Oh, I'm opening new chapters of my life. I'm seeing new chapters of my life. My health is being restored back unto me. I'm receiving new blood in my body, new body parts by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the glory of the Spirit. Miracle signs and wonders are happening for me. Ah, Prophet Joshua Holmes shall prophesy. Put your name in there. I shall heal the sick. Go and put your name in there. I shall move in wealth. I shall receive all things that pertain to life and godliness. I will not lose. I will not miss. I will not be confused. I will not be deceived. And there will be no yoke from the 
kingdom of darkness around my neck. None of the gates of hell will prevail against me. A thousand will fall at my side. 10,000 at my right hand, they will not come near me. I walk in a strong financial anointing. Financial power from the Holy Ghost is moving upon me, moving around me, moving with me, moving in me. I'm anointed financially. I'm anointed financially. The power of God is on me financially. Ah, the power of God is on me financially. The power of God is on me financially. The power of God is on me financially. The power of God. <whistles> Somebody said I was healed in March right before I was going in for a liver transplant. You hear that? Somebody said on the line, I was healed in March right before I was going in for a liver transplant. Are you listening to that? I want to speak healing on you right now. I declare you are healed. That's all we need. is faith in the power of God. That's all we need. Healing is real. These miracles are happening. These healings are happening. It's going to keep on happening. It's going to keep, it's going to keep on happening. It's going to keep on happening. It's easy. It's easy. It's easy to be healed. It's easy to receive recovery in your body. It's easy. I, re I release healing. I release the healing power of God. The gifts of healings are operating in your mortal body. You are healed. 